Very good morning, everybody. I'm uh, glad that so many people are here. And I hope you all got your bottle. If you didn't, go get a bottle like this, fill it up, fill it up with water, and then come back. Just a quick sound check and uh, visual check. Can you see and hear me properly? If you can see and hear me properly, type AV in the chat box. If I'm clear and if you can uh, hear me properly, please type um, AV in the chat box. All right. Okay. It's pretty. It's a hot day here in Mysore. So yeah, I'm already sweating even before the workout. Okay, I can see a lot of people here. Great. Good morning, Anirudh. Good morning, Shobha. Joe. How many years has it been? Sonali, good morning. Kartik, hello. Mani Selvam, welcome. Kunal, hi. Denise, hi. Abhinav, hello. Sriram. Nirisha, Sriram, hi. Samir, hi. Ranjit, hi. Shrikant, Anuradha, Bharat. Wow, it's a lot of people here. Preeti Singh, Ashish. Ashish says, I cannot see or hear. Okay. Anirudh says loud and clear. Divya says loud and clear. OK, Ashish, it might be some problem at your end. Please check your internet. All right, if you can't, then you can catch up with the recording. And then uh, you'll have the same experience. All right, great. Anurad is saying nothing is there. I have become nothing. Kapil says he can see. OK, great. Anurad, please check your internet connection. Um, Joe is asking, has the video started? Yes, Joe, the video has started. I'm here. All right. Hasn't started yet. Wow. OK. OK, maybe there's some broadcasting delay, guys. So uh, maybe it's, uh, it's taking time to reach you. All right. So don't worry, it's going to reach you. All right. OK, I think I'm going to go ahead because it is working. And I got AV from many people. So for those whom it's not working, it's probably because uh, it's taking time with your internet. You can just refresh the page. Yes, like animation, Divya said. OK, great. Anyway, you can't hear me, so what's the point? All right, let's begin. <coughs> so what I want you to do is to get your workout clothes, get that bottle. But you don't need the bottle now. You step forward. This is respect to the arm itself. Okay, take your hands above your head and sit down. Mata, Pita, Guru, Deva, and touch the floor. One hand, one hand, one hand. All right. Your hand itself weighs about uh, three to four kgs, right? Maybe even more, depending on the hand. So start by swinging your hand along. Shift your weight from side to side, and slowly this will work on your lower back. So we awaken our energies from here. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Very simple, lazy movement. It's a swipe left and a swipe right. Keep going. Really easy. <coughs> Very simple. Make sure you do it with your breathing to get your maximum benefit from it. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. With your nose, inhale and exhale with your nose. All right. Very simple movement. Almost anybody can do it. If you don't have strength, sit in a chair and do it. Okay. You don't have to do it standing up. It's going to be a very easy class. Very basic beginners class. I'm only going to take it for 20 minutes. Keep going. Pull your stomach in. Pull your stomach in. And then now try to see if you can rotate more, reach more. Try to be more ambitious. Reach more, okay? Ande, Rande, Mune, Nale, Anje, Are, Ere, Ette, Mbode, Patte, Padinande, Andrande, Padimone, Padinale, Padinanje, Padinale. Pull your stomach in, pull your stomach in to connect your upper body to your lower body. Padinere, Padinete, Padumbode, Irivad. Okay, now get your hands up here. Swing your arm. Go and touch this. Bring it back. 
Breathe out. Breathe back. Breathe out. Breathe back. Feel how it works on your back. Feel how it works on your chest. And pull your stomach in. The breathing will intensify the feeling on the core. Okay? The shoulder blades will get opened out with this. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten. Keep your feet parallel to each other. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay, all right. Get your hands behind your back here. Okay. Now pull it up and touch. Clap it. Bring it down here and clap it. Take it up here. Clap it. Take it behind. Clap. Okay. One. Two. Three. Mune, Nale, Anje, Are, Ere, Ete, Ambul, Pat, Padidan, 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 I know it's a bit confusing. Keep going. Front, up, back, up, front. Padinere. 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 Easy, easy, easy. You don't have to keep pace with me. Go slow. Okay. You don't have to do it. Everything on it. Everything up. You know the engine? You know the R. You know the A. You know the A. Okay, well done. Good job. Now we'll uh, just do some lifting, leg like lifting for the hips. Okay, let's go. One in, one in, one in, one in, one in. Are you feet parallel? It is both. But the Padino name, Pandra and Dev, Padino name, Padina Dev, Padina Jepu the stomach in, Padina, Padina, connect your upper body and lower body with your abs. Only your abs are tight, everything else is relaxed. Okay? It was, it was good. 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 Then breathe with your nose. Are you? Okay, good. Next, just swing your legs. Front and back if you can. Okay? Swing it front, swing it back. Swing it front, swing it back. One in, one in, one in, keep going, keep going. Nale. Anje, Are, Ere, Ete, Mumbode, Patrick, Padigone, Pandande, Padigone, look straight, Padinale, Padinanje. Padinare, Padine, Padine, okay, change, 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 one, change your leg, run it, go it, nail it, punch it, step forward, step back, rotate your leg, out, come out, set, on it, air it, very gentle exercise for the knees, the hips, the ankle. 
Start your collaborative practice with something like this, and then you graduate to something bigger. As you progress, okay. So I'm going to tell you about all of these guys, the big guys. I'm going to tell you about all of them, but later. what we need. This is all you need. Okay, so pick it up. We do a salutation to it even though it's a bottle of water. We treat it like it's a weapon. Okay, so take your leg forward, sit down. Mata, Buddha, Guru, Deva and infuse this with the energy and pick it up. <laughs> your grip has to be like this. It's just one kg but still you feel it. Change your hand at the corner. Stretch corner, okay. Go to the opposite side, stretch here, come back here. This is called Ottaka Sitte. One handed swing. It's a basic swing. It's from this one swing that all the other swings come up, okay. And you can already feel it. The one kg of weight is pulling your ribs more than it usually does, isn't it? You can feel your ribs stretching just a small inch more than it usually would. Stretch it. Bring your shoulder across, stretch it, shoulder across, stretch it, shoulder across, stretch it, shoulder, stretch. <coughs> they say that steel belongs to the, the planet Saturn, so whenever you use steel, you're supposed to say the Saturn Mantra to remove you from any of the ill effects of lifting the steel. <laughs> Don't worry, I've sent the Mantra for everybody doing the practice. So just do it. Just telling you about steel, especially. And, and iron. Those of you who have iron karnakates, if you don't know the Shani Mantra, then it starts affecting your blood flow in a very long way. Okay, so all these are subtle things that you learn when you join my class. Won't get into it right now. Keep going. Keep swinging with me. Keep swinging. Swing across. Swing across. Do it. Yeah, isn't it fun? Okay, very good. Just one swing. All right. Now I want you to do a rotation like this. Okay. Whether you just keep going, rotate. As you can see, all the sutras are coming out of the basic Pratakai Sutra. We keep adding stuff to it. There are 64 ways to rotate a Karlakate, and there are even more ways to rotate a Gada. It's different, okay? Gada is different from Karlakate. Gada is what Hanuman, Vishnu, Bhima, Chamundeshwari. All your warrior gods are carrying it. Right? There's a reason that all the gods have a weapon. The reason is that we also need to practice if we want to be gods. There is no way to be godlike unless you're a Kshatriya practicing warriorship. Okay? Kshatriya is not a caste, don't get confused. It just means warrior. Okay? 
So those who are into the warrior practice, their body itself is different. It is a body that can endure anything. And heal from anything. So as you do this, when you pull your stomach in, breathe in, breathe out. You're feeling your stomach move. And it's working on your gastrointestinal tract. Okay? Just this movement. It's also working on your lungs and heart. It's a lot of internal organ work here. You want to extend and make it work on your legs too? Do this. Okay, only those who can. Alright? <coughs> do this. Change. Okay. Okay, do this. Do this and change. Do this. Do this and change. That way you can integrate. In fact, many of the movements integrate leg movements. And we are as flexible as a taekwondo player. Because of Karlakate, <coughs> we are as flexible as somebody who is a taekwondo player and we are as strong as somebody who is a judo player. I don't know if you know, judo players are very strong. Okay? Because Karlakate will train you for every martial art that's there, every sports that's there. I have a cricketer in my class who is just like going to the next level with this cricket. I have a mixed martial artist in my class who's also going to the next level with mixed martial arts. Okay. I have a boxer in my class. Okay. She's gone to another level. With boxing, I don't know, I think she's here. Denise. Okay. So that's it, right? Okay. Now let's go behind. 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 Behind and over and come back. Okay. Behind, over, back, behind, over, back. Try this. It's going to work on your kidneys. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <coughs> you don't have to bother to shape your body, right? Whatever you do, you'll end up looking like Hanuman. If you do the traditional movements, you don't have to really worry. Because it includes everything. <coughs> there are a lot of tare padam, stuff that we do on the floor, which we'll do to, to conclude the class today. But I hope you can feel the effects of this. How many minutes has it been? It's been exactly 20 minutes. I mean, a little less than 20 minutes. Okay? You can already feel the effects of this movement, of these movements, because they've opened up your back, opened up your circulation, they have strengthened your ligaments, they have massaged your internal organs, opened your breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And connected various parts of your body as one. All right, so put this down, let's close, put this here, sit down, on your right, right is forward, okay. Mata, Pita, Guru, Devam, Okay, so put your Karlakate away <coughs> and uh, let's do some Tare Padam to cool down, all right. Padam means lessons, Tare means flowing. So come to the tarek and stretch your legs out. Bend one leg. Bend one leg. Start going down. Mm. 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 One two, five. Change it. Switch. 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 Let's go. Mm. Bend it. Do leg wipes. Wipe it. Come back. Wipe it. Come back. Wipe.
ஒன்பது பத்து பதினொன்று 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 பதினாறு பதினஞ்சு பதினாறு பதினேழு பதினெட்டு இருபது இருபத்தி ஒன்று இருபத்தி ரெண்டு இருபத்தி மூணு இருபத்தி நாலு இருபத்தி அஞ்சு இருபத்தி ஆறு இருபத்தி ஏழு Let the body realign itself and come back to its normal breathing. But you'll see that it has realigned itself ever so slightly. The body has adjusted itself to, power, to function better and to perform better. Every day by practicing a little bit of this, your health gets better and better and better. You don't need a doctor. We're practicing this. One year of practice literally makes you free of all diseases. Continue to lie down, relax, let your body settle down, let your energy settle down, let everything calm down in your body, okay? You can rub your body like how I'm doing, from your chest, rub all the way down to your waist and calm your body down. Rub your hand also, calm your hands down. Slowly stretch your hand above your head. Stretch your legs, lift your legs, come up, okay. and turn, put your right leg forward, inhale, Atta, Pitta, Guru, Deva, and lift, and lift, Okay, that was some of the, uh, just a small glimpse into our exercises. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope those who could not join were able to join and get some, uh, why is my lighting gone down? And get some, okay, hope you can see me. Yeah, get some of the workout at least, those of you who were not able to do it, okay? Great. So keep relaxing. I hope you're all feeling better now, okay? So how are you feeling? Why don't you type and tell me how you're feeling after the workout? Think about how you're feeling before the workout and now think how you're feeling after the workout and just type and let me know how you're feeling. This was probably your first experience of Maypadam and also Karla Kate. Now, if you stop sweating, feel free to have a sip of water, yeah? Anirudh saying he's got a free body, that's great. Great guys, Anirudh says I got a free body, Sampad says feeling good, Ramakrishna is feeling great, Ramchand is feeling great, Ramakrishna is feeling awesome, Shobha is feeling relaxed, Pura is feeling relaxed and free, Sanjeev is feeling thumbs up, Kumar is feeling joyful, 
so you can just feeling good yeah child like fun says joe good job feeling relaxed feeling light okay my back was feeling jaded and now feeling full free flow great body unlock feeling good so th this is the kind of feedback that we always get because it's not a hard workout that makes you feel like shit you know at the end of it you slowly 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 build up when i started this workout i was just 50 57 kgs and then i started packing on muscle just by working out and then you know you you now i'm 76 kgs right and uh, it's not fat it's like the strength it's muscle right i can i i lifted a car once man <laughs> so that's that's how strong that this stuff can make you <coughs> and it's yeah there's more feedback let's see kedar is saying it's fun i feel energized nice relaxed and open up excellent abhinav says feeling connected and compact very good siddhik is saying great priti is saying feeling good and it says it looks like simple body movement but something magic yes you're right anirudh it is magic nirisha says feeling energized hari says energized sampath is like does it help lose weight yes it does okay so if you practice it regularly five times a week and then i'll also tell you what to eat just uh, you got to eat so that look guys if you want to lose weight you have to uh, fix your thyroid okay that's the bad news the reason you're not losing weight is because your thyroid is not working right and those who have put on a lot of weight it's just because your thyroid isn't working so i'll be taking classes special seminars uh, at least once a month i keep talking about this how to fix your thyroid there is also a talk i've given in hindi on how to fix your thyroid so there'll be both english and hindi talks on how to fix your thyroid okay the moment you fix your thyroid those who have to lose weight will start losing weight those who have to gain weight those who are skinny whose body is like a girl or a boy and they're not yet looking like a man or a woman they also will start uh, changing and there's lots of improvement which happens okay so priyamada is saying uh, feels like my energies have aligned yes very good all right so definitely you can lose weight but the reason main reason to do this is to uh, one uh, continue a traditional art which was snatched from us by the british okay so the moment you do this this is the most patriotic thing you can do right now to practice traditional desi martial arts and it is so cool it is, the whole western world is jumping on this now after yoga this is what they want everybody's got their little clubs and they say indian club bells and nobody knows what the hell they're doing okay so there's ak saying uh, i agree about alignment and uh, why we use dand in this workout I, i don't know I, do you mean this <laughs> i'll tell you about the dunds but we uh, if you mean push ups we don't do push ups we we hardly do it except in tarepadam in tarepadam we do a lot of push ups and that's uh, something which is advanced okay before doing push ups pull ups everything we have to first learn how to carry our own hand and legs weight that itself we can't carry when we are able to carry our legs hands and legs weights then we can start carrying our body weight okay that's why when you start off it's going to be very light weights very very light weights okay nobody is going to start you off with this 12 kg fellow here yeah it's hard to even lift it right so you've got to be uh, you've got to be like really slow so let me tell you a little bit about karlakate i'll get my mic so that i can uh, speak to you properly so just hang on okay i forgot to get it Hang on. Thank <laughs> you. 
several lot of things to tell you. Uh, can you hear me now? Am I audible? Sound okay? Sound better now? Yes, no? Tell me if the sound is better now, okay? Kapil is saying I'm feeling unbuckled. <laughs> Great. Great. So the, what, what we are describing is that, you know, we, we, we hold ourselves in very difficult and different poses because simply because of the pressures of life itself. Life is not easy, guys. So when we go through life, we need Karlakate practice to make ourselves realign, to make ourselves stronger, to put ourselves back in, um, back in uh, reset mode, like, like Joe said, like to be in, um, to feel childlike. Yeah, isn't it? So that's, that's the most important thing. I'm so glad you guys could sit and practice, even though I'm uh, doing this on YouTube. And, and that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. You don't need a partner. You don't need equipment also in the beginning. Later, you can buy karlakates when you really need it. First, we'll be working only with our hand body weight. All right. OK, yeah, thanks for the feedback. I'm glad uh, the sound is back and feeling the sound is better now. So um, I, I, I just wanted to tell you that um, this art is about 60,000 years old. And it, Bharat is saying no sound. Kya yaar. Is, is, is Bharat right or are all the others right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, OK. So I'll tell you about uh, the, the Karlakate, OK? Don't worry. So it was supposedly made by uh, the king of Shiva's elemental army called uh, Bhuta. Bhuta are the elemental armies, like water, wind, fire, you know, just like you see in the cartoon, the last airbender, the avatar cartoon, OK? So uh, that is that is what uh, that is uh, exactly how Shiva's elemental army is portrayed in the Puranas. The leader of that elemental army was a person called Karalan, and uh, Karala means uh, very uh, uh, very ferocious or very terrible. Okay, so Karalan is reputed to have been able to pull trees out by their root and then use them to train himself. Okay, so then uh, since we can't lift a whole tree, we started with small pieces of wood and this knowledge was passed on to human beings. And uh, there have been the Siddhas who have been instrumental in passing this on to the population of Tamil Nadu. And Tamil Nadu was a very big country earlier and now it's of course a small state, but earlier it was a very big country extending uh, to all of Southeast Asia. And um, when we, uh, these, these arts traveled, these arts traveled to China, the child traveled to Persia, the Persians took it on, they started practicing it, they call it me. And then <coughs> it went to uh, many other parts of the country, I'm sure even the Africans train like this, um, and there are other places in the world which train like this. The reason is, uh, this is the father of all weight training. All your weight training in the world came from this. And we realize that by lifting weights, we can become a lot stronger than we were meant to be. Our body can transform into something else. And it's important to use wood uh, and not steel or plastic or glass or whatever other material you want, you, you feel like using. Uh, the reason is that the wood is the strongest organic material in the world, right? This is like, the, this is stronger than any animal. You can hit this on any animal's head and it will go like, oh. OK, so uh, we, when we practice with the wood, when we practice lifting the wood, we start to become like the wood. We start to imbibe its strength, its nature, its alignment. Our body cells are learning from the wooden cells how to be. OK, that's what my teacher said. And I find that it's true. I find that uh, wood is sometimes also flexible. And wood is sometimes uh, can be rigid. And the way we move the wood like waves, that makes us uh, extremely uh, like an element. It, it makes us like water. It makes us like the wind. It makes us like all of those elements. And sometimes you can be like fire. There's a fire practice. There's an earth practice. There's, there's a sky practice as well. So sometimes you can be. So all of these I've seen in repeated themes in Japanese martial arts, like ninjutsu, for example. They're also talking about the five elements. 
and uh, Chinese are also talking about the five elements in their own way. They modified it a bit and they call one of the elements wood, the Chinese. Okay, so wood is supposed to be the element of growth and strength, and that's why we use wood. There are different kinds of woods. This one, what you see here, is called Y Maram. And Y Maram is the most common one that we use for beginners. But as you practice, you know, it can get very expensive, like the one you see right behind me there. Let me show you. That one is called Karungali. Okay. And Karungali. Sorry. And Karungali is uh, the wood of Bhairava. Bhairava. Okay. And you can see that it's ebony. It's all black and it's uh, a shiny piece of wood. And uh, this one is also very heavy. It's extremely heavy. And it's about six kgs. It looks very small, but it's already six kgs. Okay. And this thing itself costs one lakh rupees. Just this one piece of wood costs one lakh rupees. Whereas uh, something like this is about 25,000 rupees. Or something like this is 5,000 rupees. Okay like a normal piece of wood. So why is all this so expensive? Because we're using medicinal woods. And uh, by practicing with Karungali, and I've been practicing with Karungali every day, and that makes me feel like I'm Bhairav himself, OK? Gives me that energy and power. I can't explain it to you how strong this piece of wood has. Just this one. I travel with it. I put it into my bag and take it. So you know, in the planes, they allow 15 kgs. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> More than 11 kgs of that is just my uh, karlakates, and the rest is clothes. I don't have many clothes. I, I, had to, I had to cut down on clothes because I had to carry my karlakate when I travel. Okay, <laughs> But I do wear something on top when I travel. But that's, this is our traditional dress, what I'm wearing. And so, uh, we, yes, uh, A, A to Z English tips, yes, I do provide online training, and this program is to tell you how you can train with me. All right. I'm also telling you that do not expect this to be like a gym. It's not like a gym. We do meet every day. We take two days complete rest. There's a good community. I have more than 70 students right now. And we all, all are uh, following a certain diet. We're following a certain lifestyle. And uh, it's, it's a warrior thing. It's not just going to a gym. Okay. If you want to transform yourself and be a warrior, then you're welcome here. I know that more than 100 people registered and 50 people will show up. And after that, 10 people will show up in my class. That's all I care about. I care about those 10 guys. The rest of you uh, can continue with your lives. <laughs> Sorry for disturbing. But I'm really looking for those 10 warriors who are going to join my class and spend their, um, their uh, energy in becoming a Kshatriya. OK? So don't associate some casteist problems with this word. This word, uh, we, had, we need to take it back. I want to take it back from everybody who made it a casteist word. This means warrior. This uh, in Tamil it means shaktiya uruvakyan, which means somebody who can produce energy in his body, somebody who allows shakti to travel through his body. Shakti is Chamundi, Durga, uh, Kali. Yeah, I have a Kali statue back there. You can't see it, but uh, in the in the place where I practice, I keep Kali's energy. Because that's, that's what we want to flow through our bodies. Okay, so That's what it's all about. Shakti is the uh, principle of energy in the body. Yeah? So we say that God's energy is called Shakti. That's what we say. And we want that to flow through our body. And we want that to grow in our body. And we, we want to be able to apply it whenever we want to do it. So it's not like, I, I, don't, want to, I don't want to just sit and pray. What's the use of praying? But by working out, I allow that energy to flow inside my body and I become closer to God. That's basically, that's what it is. Okay. So anyway, you start understanding these things when you have a disease. Then you understand that the body is not having its Shakti. Then you understand the importance of protecting yourself and being a Kshatriya and protecting others in your family, protecting your friends, protecting your students, protecting your community. Right? Now we have an opportunity to all be Kshatriyas. If you take care of your health right now, you are a Kshatriya. If you don't fall into the habits which make you sick, which affect your immune system, if you care to learn about it and then you survive this pandemic, you're already a Kshatriya. Okay? So I want all of you to become uh, Kshatriyas. Now what is Kapil saying? Loud sound. He's saying it's too loud. 
Somebody saying sound is clear. It's okay, 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 guys. Right. So I, I can't do. I can't take opposite feedback and fix it. I, I need one feedback from everybody. Then there's something to fix. Okay. All right. So now let me tell you a little bit about these. Like uh, Karalan started swinging these, and then there were 64 sutras. Each sutra is associated with one aspect of the Bhairava energy. Bhairava is uh, divided into eight parts, and each of those eight Bhairavas has eight more parts. So each of the 64 sutras is uh, associated with one energy of Bhairava. Okay? So that's what we use. And uh, so let me tell you about the kinds of Karlakate. This is the beginner's Karlakate, but it's very difficult to do this. Don't underestimate it. They usually we use this in pairs. This is called Padi because it looks like a measuring cup. Okay? A padi karle is about 1.5 1, 1, 1. kgs, that's it. It's uh, like that. There are some padi karles. I have some padis which are 2.5 kgs. And that's like very advanced already. So we start practicing with this. We get a movement. And it's going to be slightly heavier than your bottle, very slightly. And uh, this is where we start from. Once we are strong, if you've done a lot of those exercises which we do, the playful exercises are called meipadam. If you do about 60 hours of Meipadam, then you're ready to lift any Karlakate. Then you can start lifting Karlakate and you start becoming stronger and stronger. Okay. So this is the Padi, this is where we start with. But simultaneously, this one is used for most people because depending on your body type, there'll be a Karlakate for you. But this one, everybody has to go through. And this is called Kai Karle. Why? It's as long as your Kai. It's as long as your hand. Yeah, that's why it's called a kai karle. See, this is another kai karle. It's just as long as my hand. So, uh, arm, arm. Kai means arm. So, it's just as long as your arm. All right. <coughs> and uh, this karlakate, a very heavy one, it's almost 10 kgs. <laughs> okay, this one is a 9 kg. Karlikate, and this is called Toppe Karle. Why? Because it's uh, used to train your stomach. This one is used to train your core. Okay? So it's called Toppe Karle because it's a core training Karle. And this is something that you will uh, advance into after one year of practicing with Kai Karle. Then you can lift these things. Toppe Karle. Then you know you either branch out, you either do a Toppe Karle or you do this one. This is a. a uh, Pudi Karle, this is for wrestlers, grapplers like me. I, I am a, a grappler, right? So I don't do kickboxing and stuff. So for, for grapplers to develop their grip and to hold somebody, this is the best one. And then uh, there is Kushti Karle. Grappling is different. Grappling is putting all these locks and bends and all of that kind of stuff, right? All of your arm breaks and Aikido kind of stuff. But uh, uh, wrestling, judo kind of stuff and wrestling, this is the karle and this one is called a kushti karle. It's narrow, like a bottle. Its a shape makes it like, like throwing someone's arm. So its shape is like an arm. So you're learning how to use it uh, to throw people's arms, right? That's a kushti karle. And this is actually uh, for archers, for archers especially to develop their archery skills. Buja Karle. Okay, develop shoulder strength and uh, archery skills. This one is quite amazing for that. So each one has its own way to use it. If you're using a uh, Pudi Karle, for example, what you've got to do in the beginning is just be able to lift it like this. This itself is so difficult, okay? Just being able to lift it like this. So difficult. And bringing it down slowly. It takes your whole body. Okay, so everything has its own way to use it, and uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> Something in the air <coughs> that's irritating my nostrils. Okay, something's happened here. All right. Anyway, so that's about uh, that, and this one is called a yoga karle. This is for yogis, people who practice yoga. After you've done like a year with the Kailakate or something, then you can start working with this. And then this will improve your yoga asanas. It will make you like uh, really flexible, the practice of this. 
So we do various movements with this. It's uh, it's quite incredible. If you want to see some videos, go and see the yoga karle videos by my teacher. He's put a few of these movements. Not only that, it makes you like muscle bound. People who practice this and practice yoga, they become like really really strong. Okay. And finally, the last kind of karlakate, <laughs> which is not a karlakate, and this is my favorite, is the gada. Now the gada, you would have seen Hanuman carry it, Bhima carry it, Vishnu carry it, Chamundi carry it, everybody's carrying it. And uh, when you practice this, you take control of all the vayus in your body. There are, there are 10 vayus in our body, 10 different winds that travel inside our body. When you practice the gada, you take control of all of them. So you can do amazing things like slow your heartbeat or increase body temperature, decrease body temperature. All the uh, involuntary stuff that happens in your body will start coming under your control. Okay, that also is uh, is uh, something to be learned and uh, something to. Uh, it's it's not for everyone. Okay, only certain kinds of bodies can practice gada. If you start measuring yourself from the middle of your head like this, span after span after span after span like this, okay, those who get exactly eight. If you measure span, measure span, measure span, measure span, and come down, and measure span in here till the the top of your your uh, your toes, okay, from the top of your head till the end of your toes, it is called Brahmarandra to Padangushta. When you measure it, and if it comes down to about eight, then you can do the gada. If it comes down to nine or it comes down to seven, you can't do the gada. Okay, so it depends on your body and your angalakshanas. So this is called Angalakshana and even your Angalakshanas change when you practice Karlakate, your Angalakshanas will change. That measurement goes on changing and that's how you see your progress. You go more and more towards an ideal measurement. Your spine will lengthen and even your arms and legs, everything will lengthen. You increase in height by practicing this because your spine has started straightening up and your posture started improving. All right, so that's about Karlakate. Okay, so I won't take much of your time. I just want to introduce you to some of my students. So uh, if any of you are here, Divya, uh, like, oh, Priyamada says she got an exact eight. Good. Then come to Mysore. And uh, uh, yeah, you want to know about the fees. Well, uh, just a minute. Shashank, uh, Divya, Kunal, and uh, Shweta, if you're here, just use the link I sent you and come on, come on here, because I want to talk to you. Sanjeev got a nine, yeah? So yes, it varies, guys. Some people, it varies from six and a half all the way to nine, nine and a half, depending on how your body is made. Everyone's body is not the same. Initially, we practice same for one year, and after that, we change, yeah? Uh, so please check your WhatsApp. Whoever, I, I, I sent you a WhatsApp, Kunal. Just, just tap on it. When I call you, I said, right? Yeah, so just tap on it and uh, you'll show up in my stream, okay? Do that. Make sure you got some light on you. Don't show me some dark, like, horrible face now early in the morning. Okay, so yeah, coming to the cost of all this practice, as you can see, Karlakate is not for poor people, all right? So if you're very poor, then don't do it. Just do only the Maypadam training. For the Maypadam training, I'm giving people some consideration and scholarship. So usually it's uh, 5,000 a month, but I'm, I'm giving them a consideration and scholarship. Uh, only if they are going to work hard for three months and then earn money after that. Okay, only then I'm giving you a scholarship. So first you'll have to talk to me if you want a scholarship. Kunal, you're kind of sideways, turn yourself. So uh, yes, now you're, now you're correct. Okay, so uh, then uh, the other other Karlikate practice, after three months, when you finish 60 classes, there's no discount. By the time, figure out that you can earn money because Karlikate is costly, man. This one Karlikate costs one lakh, okay? So don't cry about the fees. Instead, earn money. If you want to learn this fantastic art, I charge 60,000 a year. And my teacher, if you want to go and learn from my teacher, uh, it's going to cost you one lakh for one month, okay? And that's how much I've paid to learn this. Over the years, I have been learning Karlakate. I spent more than 28 lakhs just to learn Karlakate. Okay? So please don't cry over the money. The length of the gada and Karlakate, it varies. It can be short like this. This is a short gada, beginner's gada. 
behind me i have a long gada that's a little more advanced okay you want to see so i'll show you don't even don't even try to manufacture these on your own okay don't even try <laughs> because you can't <laughs> there are secrets to these lengths and proportions which only my uh, teacher knows so i just humbly buy every calicate from him okay don't ask me what's the length and the breadth of it and go and try and manufacture your own gada instead you take that idea and hit it on your own head okay that much you do all right so i just want to bring about some of my students here like uh, here's divya okay so i'm going to ask specific questions to you divya now i i know that you've had a major health transformation anybody who's been following you on uh, social media can see that you're not the same person anymore after you started training with me you become like uh, somebody else isn't it so <laughs> yeah but uh, what i would really want to ask you is how did you manage the finances kalakate is a very expensive hobby how do you how did you uh, how did you bring yourself now you can earn right when you started kalakate you were earning nothing yes yeah and then uh, now you're making like uh, uh, 50k or something per month right how you yeah. how did you so uh, i'm uh, i'm now an instructor of meipada i've learned meipada yeah. and now i'm teaching you paid 1 lakh for an instructor's course also right <laughs> yes where did the money come from you don't have money your father doesn't have money where it came from this is my question this is the magic i want people to know others will keep crying about it just comes it. if you want to do it it just comes you don't, you don't have to know this is all i want you to hear from divya everybody who's crying about money in their mind right now if you feel sorry for yourself it's good only for one thing feeling sorry for yourself yes so feeling sorry for yourself is useless okay instead if you think how can i do it i really want to do it rajan says grace okay rajan also the answer is somehow <laughs> yeah the answer is somehow it happens all right rajan is also my student and he's also had to pay a lot of money to learn karlakate because it is expensive my teacher charges a lot but it's really not a problem okay so please 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 if you are still crying about money go and learn from some other teacher who doesn't know how to teach okay so that is my answer for everybody crying about money and uh, again i'm not selling anything you know right i'm a really bad salesman i can't sell anything so i'm telling you guys like <laughs> if you if you want to join then you join otherwise don't join okay right i'm not trying to sell you the class i i want a quality of students in my class people who are warriors never complain about anything if i say the fee is 5000 a month they say how can i earn it they don't say can you reduce it to me they say how can i earn it and be worthy of, uh, a worthy student of this person okay that's warriorship if you are into warriorship then please you're welcome all right so uh, those of you who don't know divya please follow her on social media divya abirami go and check out all her posts see how she was last year in april and see how she is now why i'll show it to you right now it's is there on your facebook right divya yeah it's there okay okay so i'm getting on to facebook and i'm going to show you what happened to divya in a year like this is this is like what see <laughs> okay and uh, people are asking me do you lose weight and all that yeah see what happened to divya hang on yeah so i have loaded divya's profile let me share it just hang on just hang on okay here we are now i hope you can see divya's profile i'm sorry the internet's really slow i have message here close it close it okay okay so you can see it's right here it's the first post here let's have a look at this divya has started her own classes if anybody wants to join her classes you are most welcome to join here you go this is what happened to divya please tell her what you think about this april 2020 this is divya now she's looking at herself in april 2021 <laughs> i hope you can see this Yes, everybody can see this, right? Okay, let me zoom it in. I'm not kidding about this. Like, this is what happens when you really take your life seriously, and you you work with the karlakates, 
and you show up every day for class. Yeah, Divya has been one of my most regular students. She shows up every day for class and she's been learning. So now you can see the difference. Now I want to show you, um, do, if, if anybody has any questions for Divya, you can, you can uh, put it in the chat box quickly. But uh, otherwise, that's, uh, that's what happens. Okay, this is everybody's transformation. My transformation, Divya's transformation, Kunal's transformation, Shweta's transformation, Shashank's transformation. Everybody has changed who they are from the inside. It's completely changed, okay? One year, guys, one year. So who's ready to put in one year of hard work? Yeah? Thank you very much, Divya. Thanks for coming here and allowing me to show your picture. Thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Next, I'm going to call uh, uh, Kunal. And hey, Kunal. Hi. Hi, Kunal. We can hear you. All right. So uh, tell me how, how Corona hit you. Okay. You got Corona, right? Oh. You're so practicing Kalipati and you got Corona. So that's the only question I have for you. The What happened to right. you? So uh, my family got Corona first and I was taking care of them. So I didn't feel like for about a week, I wasn't, you know, it didn't show any symptoms. And I was perfectly healthy. I was attending classes every day. Nothing. And uh, I mean, one day... I, yeah, 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 definitely. I was positive. <laughs> Okay, uh, positive, so, but still you could yes. attend classes every day. Okay, and then? I still could attend classes, yeah. And then one day I felt a headache uh, in the weekend. Fortunately, when I had worked out a lot, it was like my body was finally ready to, you know, kill that virus. Within a, uh, within two days, you know, I was back to, you know, I had lost my uh, sense of taste, uh, sense of smell. I could again taste uh, sambar in like two days. I regained my taste in like two days. And I've heard like many people say, you know, my taste has still not come back. And after that, even after that, my family was still sick. I mean, I made a recovery before them after falling like a week uh, sick, uh, uh, after falling sick after a week after them. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know where uh, this kind of an immunity, uh, immune strength came from. But uh, I mean, it's definitely got to do with the practice of Karlakatai. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how, I mean, there was no way to measure this, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, except getting sick <laughs> with Corona. Okay. And uh, it was something Yeah, that's like, because you're, you, you, you've already been very active and you've already, you're all, already practicing yoga. And you're also like a national level, uh, I mean, an ex-national level uh, basketball player, right? So tell right, me about right. how, how, how has Karlakate improved your game? You had completely stopped playing basketball, right? Yeah, I had. Uh, yeah. What's that story? Yeah. How did you start uh, again? Six years, six years ago, I uh, injured my hip playing basketball. And then after that, it was a roller coaster uh, right downhill. Uh, you know, my health deteriorated. I fell sick. Uh, I was depressed. I got addicted to a lot of things. Slowly and slowly, I started, you know, uh, taking care of my health, changing my lifestyle and everything. But it never mounted up to the point where... Uh, I was able to, you know, feel strong the way I used to feel, you know, when I was 20. And I'm even stronger than I was, uh, you know, uh, before. And one fine day, a friend of mine said that, okay, I want to play basketball. A lot of days have passed. I, I haven't played. And I, I felt initially that it was just a distraction. You know, I don't want to distract myself from work and everything. Uh, and also, I was afraid to hurt myself again. But one fine day, I just went and played. I'm like, wow, it feels so great in my body. I wasn't so flexible, I wasn't so, uh, you know, explosive in my strength and, you know, everything just changed for me. My game I changed, remember, I, played. Your, I remember last year, your hips were so stiff that you couldn't even, like, split your legs, you, you couldn't even do anything with your legs. If you went down in uh, Surya Namaskar, right, you, you couldn't right, get right. up, man. When you, when... Right, right. <laughs> this one, you couldn't yes, get yes. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, now you can like jump up from there and do two kicks, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, I can carry two people along with me, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, amazing, it's, uh, amazing. Some, yeah. Uh, right. Waiting to, you know, uh, proceed with the practice and see what happens in a few months as well. I'm really excited for that. Oh, you're, yeah. you've, you've totally transformed. And sometimes when I see you, I'm like, who is this guy? I like, like you, you don't look like uh, Kunal anymore. You look like some movie star. 
your body's changed into some kind of yeah. you, you got ripped right you got like abs and everything you got ripped no just yeah, yeah, doing yeah. kalatate so yes definitely yeah, yeah no so no other way so guys, anybody wants to know lose weight like everybody's losing weight here those who have to lose weight because the thyroid is normalizing and that's why they're losing weight okay shashank on the other hand put on weight all right so i'm going to bring uh, thank you kunal thank you so much for sharing that was amazing what a story all right please tell kunal what you think of his story in the comments and uh, i'm going to bring on shashank uh, hi shashank hello hello everyone hey man so uh, shashank is, has like I, i want to show you a visual like how i showed you for divya shashank also has an amazing visual on his uh, Uh, like you know guys if i'm i'm telling you if you're coming to kalkate just please take a before picture okay you have a before picture <laughs> then within like 3 4 months you'll see the difference so shashank when did you start training with me i started training a little more than a month ago sometime in more april more than a month ago yeah right okay so what i'm going to so, show you yeah okay with so, uh, with karla kate was more like uh, close to 2 months now but with yeah. my partner and everything that was like uh, and i think 6 7 months now okay 6 or 7 months all right yeah. have a look what happens in 6 or 7 months guys just have a look okay and shashank is one of those amazing visual stories look at it <laughs> this is shashank in 6 months yeah first hunched over like an old man stomach protruding forward Now Shashank has started to look like Bruce Lee. <laughs> His muscles have got muscles, okay. <laughs> and and there is no like I hope you can see this transformation, guys. I hope you're able to see this video. <coughs> I mean this visual. Okay, the one on the left is the before. In case you're confused. Okay. <laughs> so let me stop that screen share. <laughs> <laughs> sorry something in my throat again all right so shashank tell me what's the uh, biggest uh, transformation that you've had with practicing karlakate okay so the biggest transformation was uh, obviously it was physical okay i'm not going to talk about the physical stuff because you guys already felt what it was like to do it in the demo uh, the biggest transformation for me personally was all the inside things the mental stuff Mm. um because right now uh, with the pandemic and the lockdown and everything my first business it kind of shut down i mm. used to uh, run a studio and i had to close it down because it depends on people walking in right and yeah. usually at a time like this people just go haywire and they start tripping on you know like uh, how they can't earn a living and uh, making loans and things like that so mm. instead of falling apart i'm actually starting a second business to pick myself up and it's actually running very well Absolutely. and every day every day we wake up in the morning and we train for an hour with these guys and uh, the what i tell myself is this this is the most difficult thing i'll do all day and anything else which comes up after this i'm already on top of it so i can solve all my problems yep and just go, going through you know starting the day with practicing with this it just gives me that uh, mental power and solitude to take on any other challenge that has been hitting me and so far like the rest of my family has been uh, flipping out on uh, paying bills paying insurance and uh, people you know the, just generally being afraid of their health and i'm telling them like relax it's okay nothing's going to happen we got this yeah. and, and yeah. being that positive influence on people that's just an amazing thing that's happened to me <laughs> i tell people that if you can get through one hour of my class you can face anything that the day has to to throw on you you know <laughs> so it's a mental yeah. attitude yeah yeah all right okay thank you thank you so much shashank that was an awesome sharing uh all right and uh, yes yeah, so here's a question from bharat uh who says uh, does thyroid is it a source of weight gain or is it a source of weight loss So if you have a hypothyroid most likely your body's metabolism slows down and no matter how less you eat you'll still be fat and if you have hypothyroid no matter how much you eat yeah you'll still be thin okay so the next story i'm going to show you is somebody who had weight gain and her name is shweta here is shweta 
All right. Hi, Shweta. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi. So you you were someone who, when you started training with me, you were like uh, 40, 42 kgs, something? 41 kgs? Yes, yes, 42 kgs. Like right? no, and no, you put 40, on 7 kgs, kgs after. Yeah. Yeah. You yes. put on 7 kgs, right? Just training in Karlakate. Mm. So yes, you can imagine, yes. even now she looks slim. So imagine how she was. Like when I saw her, Shweta was my student from long back. And then she came to Pondicherry, where I was living. I mean, I saw her, I was like, where is Shweta? If she turns sideways, she vanishes, you know? <laughs> she, she just becomes so thin. And yeah. I was like, what is happening? And her hair is all fallen out. And uh, th then I knew that she has hypothyroid. So I started treating her for hypothyroid. Mm. Like, you have to eat a certain kinds of food. And you have to do a certain yes. kind of workouts. So doing those workouts, Shweta is now an instructor. And she has how many students now, Shweta? Like 50 students, students had uh, joined my workshop and they're still joining for the paid workshops. Like almost okay, uh, 10 students great. I have. Yeah. Great. So, so all this happened in less than a year, even right? with, uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with this current weight, I'm able to pick up lifts, uh, lift weight like 20 kg of uh, water bottle can. It's very difficult. Hmm. When you see at me, you don't mm -hmm. feel that I can lift these weights. So the strength hmm. is there. Even if uh, my weight is like 49 or 50 kgs, I can lift things and uh, endurance is also great. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen you. We've seen you lifting uh, water bottles and heavy stuff. <laughs> Divya also. Yeah. Divya surprised herself one day. Like, she, uh, in, when she went to her native place, she had to lift those bisleri cans and, you know, make it ulta onto the, uh, onto the dispenser. And she thought first she'll have to call yeah. someone to help. And then she just tried it. She said, oh, let me lift and put it there and, you know. The same thing I saw you. Yes. The, the, I went with Shweta to the shop, guys, to get uh, water cans because something happened to our Aru over here. So went to the shop to get water cans. And uh, that guy was like, shall I send a boy to lift it? And Shweta was like, huh? And then she lifted the thing and came. And the guy is <laughs> like, uh, yeah. they're so shocked when they see somebody so small. Like, what's your height? Five point? Five something, right? Two. Yeah, five. 5.2. Yeah, 5.2. So when you see a short person, 5.2, who weighs around 50 kgs, suddenly lifting a, a 20 kg thing, which is more than, more than I mean, about uh, slightly less than half a weight. So people get shocked mm -hmm. when, they, when they see that. Okay. So anyway, uh, Shweta's journey is still not over. There, there's, there have been like, uh, I can't even put her journey in here. She's had even mental transformations, isn't it? Yes, yes. Hello? Even my hair fall, it was like, Crazy hair fall. Yeah. I had crazy hair fall. Can you, you can hear yeah. me, right? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, and after practicing like three months of Maypadam, hair fall completely stopped and like new hair growth started. Yeah. So that was a major transformation for me. Apart from that, I had uh, borderline diabetes, which also vanished. And uh, immunity, mm. so it's like, it's really great because I have been uh, traveling since like year on and off I've been traveling. And I didn't get any COVID symptoms or didn't fall sick because of COVID. So, yeah, that's one of the major things. And my digestion also that's improved. Amazing. That's why uh, I was able to put on weight. Yeah. Where did you travel? I traveled to Hyderabad. I tra traveled to Himachal and on the way to, to Chandigarh, these places. Yeah. So and nothing happened. Across India. No nothing fever, happened. no nothing, no immunity. Yeah, that's nothing the thing with me too. I, I traveled a lot this year and nothing actually happened to me because of uh, just Karlikati practice. It's the kind of immunity that you build, guys. That's what you need right now for these times. No medicines, just immunity. All right? Awesome. Yeah, exactly. Rajan is giving you a compliment. Shweta yeah. is one of the strongest girls I know. Bruce Lee's sister, Shweta Lee. <laughs> oh my God, so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shweta, for coming on here. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you, Kunal, Shweta. You can all uh, like get off from here. Thank you so much. Hmm. So, guys, that's the story of Karlakate. It's an old story, started 60,000 years back, and it's still affecting and causing magic in people's life. If you want to be a part of the magic, then get in touch with me. I've told you the fees. Okay, for the first three months, I can show you consideration. After that, if you're poor, it just means that you're not serious. Okay, so even for Shashank, uh, I didn't give any discount. Even though his business was falling apart, he didn't ask me for any discount. He just said, no, I, I have to see how I can afford this. Okay. So that's the 
warriors uh, that's the advantage with running a warrior school you don't have to have people who bargain with you okay and uh, coming to hair uh, like uh, people like joe and all know me from so many years right joe you you know that even when my 20s i was going bald and uh, now because of kalikate uh, all my hair started growing back and not only that all this was white last year and this has started turning black now and i don't want this to turn black because i like it but i i, I hope it doesn't but it's i don't know if it does it does right so that's the kind of thing that happens when you start uh, rebuilding yourself in fact your hair turns gray because your body is lacking nutrition this is what i learned from my uh, teacher and so he told me that the right kind of nutrition can bring you back and then he made me like uh, uh, understand what i should be eating and i started eating all that and i'm feeling like so much better if some of you are very seriously ill my teacher will prepare something for you like like a leham uh, which you can take like a chavan prash which you can take but it's not chavan prash it's different it's is the father of chavan prash he'll make and give you and then you can have that and you'll you'll get your strength back okay so if i'm only calling people who are serious please don't waste my time and come and ask me for discounts i am not interested to give discounts i'm okay if nobody joins also from here i'm totally all right with that so people who want to join and are very serious to join please whatsapp me you have my whatsapp number after this you won't hear any communication no upsell no no uh, downsell and none of that marketing shit i want to do i just have introduced you to the art if you have any questions please ask me i'm happy to answer right now if you have any questions if not let's call it a day it's been more than an hour that i've been speaking with you and thank you all very much for joining me in uh, being able to showcase and share this wonderful traditional art of ours uh, that uh, is is going to change the world it's going to be something that the entire world will be running after to practice if you become a karlakate instructor now you'll never be short of money for the rest of your life this is my promise to you because over the next 20 30 years this is going to be the most in demand thing in exercise like how yoga took over the world now karlakate is going to take over the world may padam sampath is what we did in the beginning right what is may padam may padam is those movements we did in the beginning which make you circulate your energy in the body and it it is the healing uh, practice it's what we do before we pick up the kalakate that's called may padam okay and uh, it builds our tendons joints internal organs it heals it helps you it fixes your thyroid makes you lose weight all that happens because of may padam all right so joe saying thank you thank you everybody i don't think you have any questions if you have no questions type nq in the chat box so that i know you have no questions okay type nq in the chat box those who are interested to learn please get in touch with me and uh, you have my whatsapp you are all in the group okay so thank you very much for joining me any questions anybody no questions okay yeah great no questions okay kedar saying thank you for sharing our traditional lost treasures and respect to your team and teachers giving it away thank you man appreciate it thank you all right no questions for now sir sidik very good thanks for coming sidik i want to see you in class from tomorrow and uh, yes great okay great 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 all right thank you so much guys have a great sunday and i will see you when i see you yeah Brigitte Chan says no questions. Okay, bye.